today we're taking a closer look at what has to be the most expensive Chinese watch I ever featured on the channel. If you follow my channel, you know I like Chinese watches, and I commented recently they improved substantially in finish quality in the last year and a half, as my Baltany 1921 shows perfectly. What they didn't change was the affordable price points. Even though this piece, with a retail price of just under $4,000, may seem to go against that statement, you have to consider what exactly this is and how much an equivalent watch from other brands would cost. This Peacock Black Hole is a fully in-house developed and built watch with a manual wind movement that features a central tourbillon and 120 hours of power reserve, nestled in a very original looking case. The fact it has a central tourbillon already limits the competition quite a lot as there are only a handful of brands that actually make one, and this costs one-tenth the price of where those start. When you look at it like that, it becomes clear it is an affordable Chinese watch. But $3,800 is a lot of money for a watch, even if it features such a rare complication. As for the watch itself, it is quite original in design, with a round 46mm case done in PVD coated steel with a sapphire crystal unlike any I have seen before. The sapphire not only covers the dial, but actually extends over the case, almost like a cap of some sort, which gives it a unique look and covering half the sides of the case will keep scratches on this at a bare minimum. Despite sounding large at 46mm, because it is a lugless watch, like a Seiko Tuna, it actually wears much smaller and will fit even the smallest of wrists, again just like a Seiko Tuna. It wears more like a regular 39mm watch, while the FKM rubber strap is incredibly supple and comfortable. It features a deployment clasp and the access strap loops underneath, something I rarely see but love it especially as I have small wrists and hate when there is a huge chunk of strap sticking out. This looks more elegant and I wish more manufacturers used it. The sapphire is also used on the case back, where it reveals nicely decorated bridges with a hole in, in the middle, which gives a rare view of the tourbillon assembly. The dial is as original as the rest of the watch, with pointers for the minutes and the hours and despite both featuring loom, it is such a small amount that it is barely usable in the dark, but given the nature of this watch, I'm okay with it. Overall, I like the aesthetics of the watch and like the fact you can clearly see the whole tourbillon in action and admire the complexity of the said complication. I understand it will not be everyone's cup of tea, especially at the price point but it shows Chinese are really moving forward in horology, just as I said in my State of the Collection video. I just hope they never catch up to the Swiss price-wise. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and until the next video, bye.